This uh, tutorial will uh, start with a demo of a pre-built version of the application and uh, second I will uh, go over finding the best attribute to uh, split on using uh, the two formulas for uh, entropy and uh, information gain and uh, the common weather and uh, contact uh, lenses uh, data sets and uh, third I will uh, step by step build the application this is a uh, pre-built version of the application so if we go ahead and uh, run it and uh, here we are using the weather data set and uh, we have uh, four attributes and a uh, class attribute and based on those uh, four attributes we want to determine if we are to do something uh, outdoors so it turns out that the best attribute to uh, split on is uh, outlook since it has the highest uh, information gain and uh, here we are using uh, the contact uh, lenses data set and uh, we have uh, four attributes and a class attribute and based on those uh, four attributes we want to determine the prescription if it is uh, none or uh, soft contact lenses or hard uh, contact uh, lenses And it turns out that the best attribute to uh, split on is uh, this one since it has the highest uh, information gain. So here we have uh, 14 records. Of those, 9 are play as yes and 5 are play as uh, no. So uh, we apply the entropy formula to calculate the entropy of the entire uh, data set so 9 out of 14 log base 2 of 9 out of 14 and we have a minus in front and same thing here we have minus 5 out of 14 log base 2 of 5 out of 14 and it gives us this uh, number and uh, we want to calculate the information gain of each one of the attributes to check if we are to split on it or not so for uh, Outlook, we have uh, five sunny records. Of those, two are play is yes and three are play is uh, no. And we have uh, five rainy records. Of those, three are play is yes and two are play is no. And four overcast records where all of them are play is uh, yes. So uh, we calculate the information gain. So uh, we take the original entropy and we subtract all of those uh, from it so uh, 5 out of uh, 14 are uh, sunny records so we consider this as a data set and we apply the entropy formula to it so minus 2 over 5 log base 2 of 2 over 5 and minus 3 over 5 log base 2 of 3 over 5 we do the same thing for uh, the rainy record and for the overcast the record and we end up with uh, this number and uh, we do the same calculation to see if we are to uh, split on uh, temperature or on uh, humidity or on uh, windy and it turns out that uh, outlook has the highest information gain so we split on uh, outlook and uh, here we repeat the same calculation for the contact uh, lenses uh, data set so we have uh, 24 records of those uh, 15 are none 5 are uh, soft contact lenses and 4 are hard contact uh, lenses uh, prescriptions so we calculate uh, the entropy for the entire data set 15 over 14 log base 2 of 15 over 14 we have minus in front and 5 over uh, 24 for the soft contact lenses and 4 over 24 
for the hard contact lenses and we obtain this uh, number and uh, we do the calculation for each one of the attributes for age and the other uh, three and it turns out that uh, this attribute have uh, the highest information gain so we split uh, on I will uh, start by uh, creating a new Python uh, file and uh, here we will have uh, three classes a data set uh, class representing a data set like the weather or the contact lenses data set and a feature class representing a feature in the data set and a feature value class representing a value for a feature and uh, we will be using uh, the weather data set and uh, the contact uh, lenses uh, data set now a uh, feature value will have a uh, name and a uh, number of uh, occurrences and uh, a uh, get name method and a get and uh, set occurrences uh, methods and uh, the string method which is the same as the two string method in uh, java will uh, return the name of this uh, feature value and uh, since we will be comparing this uh, feature value against other uh, feature values we will have an equal and a hash code uh, methods and uh, a feature will have a uh, name and a set of uh, values and uh, the name will be coming from the first uh, row in the data and uh, we will have uh, get methods for the name and for the values or the feature values and uh, the two string method will uh, return the name of this uh, feature and uh, this code will uh, initialize the feature values for uh, the past in uh, column and uh, this code will uh, determine and uh, populate all the feature values for this uh, feature with the number of uh, occurrences of uh, each and uh, the data set will have uh, a data and uh, an entropy so the data will be uh, for example here either the weather or the contact uh, lenses two-dimensional uh, array and uh, we will have get uh, methods for the data and uh, the entropy and uh, let's go ahead and uh, import text table that we will be uh, using to display the two-dimensional array as a uh, table so uh, here the two string method 
will uh, make use of the text table and uh, the header will be the attributes and uh, the data will be uh, the rows below the attributes and uh, let's also import log from uh, math and uh, we will uh, use in this uh, helper method that uh, we will call from the constructor in order to calculate and uh, set the entropy for this uh, data set So we will uh, be finding the best attribute to uh, split on for both the weather and the contact uh, lenses data that uh, we have. So for each one of the data, we'll uh, print the name of that uh, data and we'll instantiate a data set and we will uh, print that uh, data set and uh, this will uh, contain the information gain for each one of the attributes now uh, for each column in the data set will uh, instantiate a feature and we will uh, pick up all the data sets that are associated with that feature and uh, let's go up here and define this uh, function so create the data set that uh, creates and uh, returns a data set given a data two-dimensional array and a column within that uh, data and a feature value within that uh, column So it will uh, have the same number of uh, columns as uh, original uh, data and it will have uh, the same number of uh, rows as the occurrences of uh, the feature value plus the attribute uh, row. And uh, we will uh, have the return data pick up uh, the attributes and uh, all the rows that have the same uh, feature value name and uh, this is what we will uh, return and uh, this code will uh, delete the past in uh, column so this uh, code and we will uh, pass the data that we end up uh, with to a new instance of uh, data set and uh, we will uh, make use of that uh, method in this code here which will uh, end up populating this uh, data set and uh, we will uh, use the information gain uh, formula to uh, calculate the information gain for each one of the features in the data set and let's go up here and add this uh, function that will uh, generate an info gain uh, table containing uh, each one of the features and its uh, corresponding uh, information uh, gain and we will call that uh, function from uh, here 
and uh, this will uh, print the best feature to split on so this uh, should do it and uh, let's try test running uh, the application okay let's return okay let's try now Here we go. So for the weather data set, Outlook was the best uh, feature to split on. And uh, for the contact uh, lenses data set, This was the best uh, feature to spend on.